See restriction as an opportunity. And the way we've done that at Central, we've, we've faced a lot of financial restriction the last few years. In fact, I would tell you, we've grown by, we grew by about 35% as a church. Listen, we grew by about 35% as far as adding people that we're responsible for. And in that 35% over a few years period, our budget declined $1.8 million. So we grew 35% and we had, and we now we're $1.8 million behind what we started with even before we grew 35%. You see what I'm saying? That's extreme restriction. And we had to do a couple things to learn how to handle it. One is we had to fight the martyr mentality. You got to fight the martyr. What's the martyr mentality? Some of you are doing this already. You're walking around, oh man. Woe is me. If we just had this, if we just didn't have Baptist in our name. Yeah, I said it. If we just didn't have orange carpet in our church. If our church just didn't smell the way it smells. If some of you, you know, there's a church smell sometimes, you know, like I, I pastored a little church in Texas years ago. And, and here's what I remember is no matter how many candles I lit or how much glade I sprayed, when you open the front door, it still smelled like the church. I don't know. It just smelled like it. Just, ah, yeah. And it's easy to walk around and feel like, man, if, if we just had this and if we just had, you got to fight the martyr mentality. And I talk to our team about, man, we think we don't have this and we don't have that, which is ridiculous because I can take you to Chile where 100,000 people gather in a park outside with nothing and they worship Jesus and they call it church. And they're not walking around going, man, look at what we don't have. Their hearts are focused on what they do have. So fight the martyr mentality. Here's another thing. Find the yes. Find the yes. Get with your teams. Talk about not what you don't have, but what you do and how you can find the yes.